Hi, this is JB from Nautalites or Arkham. This time we are continuing Finn Edward's uh, quest for the Dream Quest uh, campaign and we are playing the search for Kadat scenario. Uh, last time in the first scenario of this campaign we got 11 experience. Uh, we ended up um, picking uh, Resolution 1 which meant that the cats collected their bounty from the zooks. We also added Randolph Carter to our deck and uh, did upgrades to our deck for 11 experience. Let's first look at the upgrades. I upgraded uh, both copies of Leo de Luca to level 1. I also upgraded uh, the level 0 Streetwise to level 6 <laughs> or 3 Streetwise, but it is tabooed so it costs 6 experience. And also I upgraded the Lockpicks to level 1 and because we were removing the streetwise level 0 from the deck I also upgraded 3 copies of Easy Mark and removed 2 Faustian Bargains from uh, the deck also. So now we have spent 11 experience to the deck and uh, we can continue. So those were the changes into the Deck. Let's get back to the scenario. Uh, we are uh, starting from Altar and we already did the uh, interlude or the intro for the scenario and uh, we got one uh, evidence of Kadath Talimark because we were able to enter the sanctuary. Uh, elder guy there without the uh, cats interfering. We also have a uh, virtual gray in play already and uh, during setup we put uh, the back of unit into play and it's swarming one so one card got added underneath it from our deck. Uh, that is basically it. We can start playing so we are trying to get uh, as many evidences of Kadat as possible. So uh, we are looking for signs of the gods and uh, I'm hoping to get at least five from the different islands we are visiting during this scenario. So let's get started. We are ready to start, so I have pre-shuffled both of the encounter and player decks to draw our opening hand of five cards. See if we need to mulligan anything. So we got what's this? Uh, Randolph Carter, uh, both copies of Track Shoes and Lone Wolf. So we are keeping the Lone Wolf. Uh, I think we rather get. Well, uh, we'll keep one copy of Track Shoes, that is really useful in this scenario. And uh, I think I'll. Uh, Mulligan the rest. We want to find the lockpicks or the, or the Luca, for example. So the three more cards, and we find the lockpicks. Uh, another long wolf and one single case. So pretty good start. We are happy with that hand. We'll shuffle the Mulligan cards back into our deck. I think uh, Randolph Carter is not that important. We have a good for our soak in Virtual Grey and Virtual can also heal. So... Okay... Uh, I think we'll pretty much uh, set up for the first turn. Next turn we'll investigate and uh, Start moving, or we could actually put the uh, lucky cigarette case and the uh, lockpicks investigate next turn. Uh, we could play Lone Wolf and start moving. Yeah, I think that's a better plan. So, first action, we spend three, play the lockpicks. These are the upgraded uh, lockpicks. So they come into play with 
Ice. Oh, and they won't go away that easily as the level zero ones. Seven action. Actually, I think I'll play the Lone Wolf because then we get extra resource generation or other cars and streetwise, so we're not in a hurry of playing the Traxus or Lucky Secret case yet, so I think last action we'll investigate using the lockpicks. So we are investigating. Eight versus one. Pretty high success rate here. And it's a zero, so we grab this poop. And I know what three hits behind this, so it really doesn't matter, but let's check it out. So we could uh, choose to not flip this failed card, but we'll do it just for the laughs. So, because we, the cats collected their bounty from the zooks, I lose all of your remaining actions and end your turn the cats around me and thank me for the help and that is our turn by the way we ready up we draw back up to uh, we draw a card and we gain a resource so uh, that is the turn no enemy actions because this guy doesn't have hunter uh, that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom to the agenda has a threshold of 7, encounter card is, and uh, Dreamland Eclipse. So its uh, location shroud gets plus 2, or we take one horror, and we discard it at the end of the round. So that is basically okay, because we have the lockpick, so we can pretty much guarantee a success even against shroud of 5 here. So, first action. Uh, let's think. So if we move, yeah, uh, we get the one from the lone wolf. If we move, uh, we get the free action to evade, then we move again. And we can actually boost that guarantee resources if we feel like it. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we'll move. This uh, enemy engages us. We'll uh, free action evade. So we are. Uh, this guy gets plus two to evade. So I think I'll commit random card. Just uh, actually, we'll commit the other lone wolf. So we are uh, evading five versus three. Uh, sorry, this is only one because it has a card attached. So. We actually won't even commit that, so we are evading 4 versus 1. And it's a plus 1. So, uh, unfortunately there are no clues on this location, so we can't grab a free clue here. But that is okay. Uh, we'll keep on moving, so we are leaving this location, we have to test Agility 2. So now I'm committing this card, so we are 3 up. Again, a plus one, so we succeed. So we get to move here. And uh, we are investigating for our last action, and the shroud is five because this is in play. So uh, we are testing eight versus five, so we are three up. And it's a cultist. Uh, reveal another token. If this token is revealed during an investigation and skill just fails, increase that location's route by one for the remainder of the round. So we'll pick a new token. And it's a minus two, so we are fine. And uh, this goes also back into the bag. So, tablets are minus two. If you fail, take one damage and one horror or place one during the agenda. So, we grab this clue and we don't lose a lot pick because we succeeded by uh, one of them. Uh, sorry, let's count. It's minus two, so uh, uh, we lose one lock pick. 
because we didn't succeed by two, at least two. Okay, well, we'll get to see this other side of the veil card. So a lot of fluff there, and you have uncovered the sign of the gods. Place one resource on the scenario reference cards to indicate this for the remainder of the scenario resources on the scenario reference card represent signs of the gods. The investigators have uncovered. Your quest is to uncover as many of these signs as you can in order to discover the location of Kadat to discard her over. And I am using these uh, Mythos Busters Clue Doom tokens as the evidence of the gods, and I'll place them over here. So I'm just mm, using those because I like them more as a special token as than some uh, resource token. Uh, well, uh, that is our whole turn. Now, um, we could search for item assets, but I think we are at the end of the round. At the end of the round, investigators at the port location may spend the required number of clues for the advance, and we'll spend these two clues. So, to the sea. Um, just the encounter deck, discard and all play areas for cats of altar, each pack of wounds and each card from the zoot encounter set and remove them from the game. Shuffle each set aside copy of the priests of thousand mask into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. Investigator must choose, decide, uh, decide choose one. Visit the Isle of Oriab to the south, resolve Oriab setup in the campaign guide. Visit the uh, ancient land of Nar to the west. Resolve Nar setup in the campaign guide. Visit the Forbidden Lands to the north. Resolve Forbidden Lands setup in the campaign guide. Or visit the Kingdom of the Timeless Realm to the east. Resolve Timeless Realm setup in the campaign guide. I think I'll head to Oriab, so I'll do that uh, mid turns to set that up. So I'll just finish my uh, round before that. So. We go to upkeep, we ready up, we'll draw one card, gain one resource, and I'll do the, this goes away, I'll do the uh, mid gain setup between turns. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we have set up the Oriab uh, locations, and we have the Isle of Oriab uh, Act 2 in play. So find and uncover as many signs of the gods in this region as you can. At the end of the round, if each investigator is at the port location, you may move to another region by advancing this act. Check the, if the investigators have uncovered 10 signs of the gods, proceed to resolution 1. So we are here, and basically now we have done the uh, resolution. Uh, or the upkeep phase, but uh, we did it in different order, so I don't have to cut the video uh, all the time. So we add a doom to the agenda. Uh, we have the night riders in play uh, during the setup, and uh, there are crews on all the valid locations. And um, we start in Bahara. Uh, so we get an encounter card. So we shuffle those priests. In here, so let's see. Uh, we get the song of Maga Bird, which is really, uh, really annoying for Finn. So revelation attached to your location. Pause after you move out of the lo attached location. Take one horror, place one doom on the current agenda, and discard song of Maga Bird. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Action test. Um, will power four. To resist the call or uh, combat four to drive away the birds. You see, discard song of the Okay, well, that goes there. Have to resolve that some way. But first, uh, we'll start our turn. I think uh, we'll get one resource from the Lone Wolf. First action, we'll play uh, Randolph Carter. This is because here we have to put uh, direct damage to an ally asset, and we don't want to lose Virgil Grey. So actually we found, uh, what I usually forget to do is, after you, uh, one or more signs of the gods are uncovered, either draw one card, gain one resource, or heal one horror from virtual prey. 
so uh, we just took a resource. Maybe that's okay from last turn. And uh, actually, I'll use that resource to play track shoes. Keep the track shoes over here. And that is uh, the second action. Last action will uh, investigate here. So, investigating uh, 9 because we get plus 1 from Randolph. So, 9 versus. A tablet, so minus two. So we grab, the spoon, we get to look at the other side of this card, and uh, each investigator at Baharn may return an item or supply card from their discard pile to their hand. Remember that the investigators have obtained supplies from Baharna. Give this card back over. Uh, we don't have any item or supply assets or cards in the discard, so. We only remember that we have the supplies. That is a victory point location. So that is okay. Just double checking. So uh, in Altar there were no victory point locations, so we don't have to remember anything from there. Okay, and uh, uh, we revealed a, a tablet, so we can get to exhaust Randall Carter to draw two cards. And we find Leo De Luca and what's this? And that is our turn. Uh, these are not hunting, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get the lucky secret case and gain one resource. And that is our turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter card is Song of Maga Bird. So. Uh, this is really annoying, so we really have to get rid of these, so we don't uh, lose all turns. So, I think uh, first we'll get a resource. Uh, first action, I will resolve one of those. I'll just watch this. I'll gamble that. We are testing uh, strength, so we are four. Five. Actually, I'm just spending. I won't spend anything on that. Uh, and I can't boost with streetwise either, so just hoping to manage this so we can get rid of this. So one up. Hoping, hoping to hit a skull or minus one or zero or plus one or elder sign. And it's a skull and we have one, so skull is x, x is the number of signs of gods we have uncovered, so we get rid of one. Second action. We really don't have good cars to guarantee a success. Second one, so I think we'll just take it on the chin and take one horror. We put it on virtual and uh, we'll discard this and we added one doom. We'll move to the mount, this engages us, and we'll use the free action to evade. Pump in. Uh, they are evade 5, so should I rather try to hit them? I think I'll hit them. Uh, first, so I'll hit first. I'm 1 up. Uh, 2 up because Randall gives, gives us a combat. And it's another skull, so we defeat one of these. So the storm card goes away. So now this gets minus three evade. So the last action is the free evade. And we are evading uh, five, six versus, because we have the track shoes and Randolph. So six versus. Uh, 
and it's another skull. So uh, we evade. We succeed by two or more, so we can grab this group and get to see the other side of this failed location. And uh, after you enter, we have the supplies, so we don't have to de test this, so we can ignore it. You have uncovered the sign of the guards, place one resource on the scenario reference card, shuffle one, set aside a copy of 10 rows, night coat in under the table. Okay, and. We get one of these night comes the deck. This is a fun scenario, except there is so much game setup, and it, you're constantly removing and adding cards. So it's a long one, but it is what it is. Still, I I usually enjoy playing this, and we got one of the sign of the gods here. So we have two, and I'll uh, heal. Or from Randolph, uh, from Virgil. Okay, and that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions, we go to upkeep. This readies, engages us again. And uh, we'll draw a card. We get bargain, uh, breaking and entering, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, 5 of 7. We found the card is uh, Wanderer's Lands. If there are no clues on a location, discard Wanderer's Lands and it can search. Dreamlands Eclipse. Uh, so, again, plus 2 shroud when we're investigating, or we take one horror. That is just fine. And uh, I think uh, first action will be the free evade. So, we are just evading this guy. And I'm evading uh, 6 versus 2. It's a tablet, so it's minus 2. If you fail, something happens, but we don't. This is evaded. First real action will move to the Nameless Ruins. And we will investigate. And uh, I think I'm not committing anything, I'm just using optics. So 9 versus. Five. So we are four up. It's a minus two. We don't uh, break a lock pick. Grab this two. And we'll get to flip this card. You have uncovered one sign of the guards. Place one resource on the reference card. Flip this back over. So we get the third here. And now we can heal that. So uh, I think we'll draw a card. So we get the shortcut, which is really uh, good at this moment. So uh, we'll fast play the shortcut to move here. Actually, we don't even need to do, do that. So we'll just use our last action. To, uh, let's count. So uh, free evade, move, investigate, and we have one action left. We'll just move back here with our last action. And I think we drew a tablet somewhere there, but I forgot, so we won't draw cards with Randolph this time. And that is our turn. Um, we can advance at the end of the round, so uh, let's count. Because I forgot this was in play, so I'll just take the four on uh, virtual from this, so it doesn't affect the math here. And uh, this gets discarded. We will advance at the end of the round, but this ready is first. And we'll draw a card. We get uh, another breaking and, ent and entering. We have seven cards, so still uh, we don't have to discard anything. And uh, we gain one resource. So again, I'll do the mid-game setup between turns, so I don't have to pause the video all over again and then just restart. So basically, that is that turn, and we will uh, head 
to the... I think I'll go to Menor next. So we'll head to Menor and continue from there. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we are ready to begin the act, the doom that came before. And we are in the uh, Menor island now, our location. So we have the beings of Ip in play. We start at Kadatheron and we have all so the runes of it and Sarnat locations. So uh, we start our turn. We have readied everything. Okay, uh, we go to the Mythos phase. We add a Doom. Six of seven. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Hunted by Corsairs. Attached Hunted by Corsairs, the current act. When the act advances, each investigator takes two damage. That's act gains test uh, intellect for outwit the corsairs or agility for to sneak past and use the city's cards hunters. Uh, by, hunted by corsairs. So that, that's it there. That is okay, we have plenty of damage. So, so um, I think we want to head here, uh, breaking and entering, so we can. Uh, you may automatically evade an enemy at this location, so I don't think we have to engage this because we are doing an investigation check. So this is just evaded, so it won't hit us. So let's count. So if I, oh yeah, and this guy has hunter, so we have to keep that in mind. But yeah, uh, if we investigate here with the lockpicks, we get this clue, then we move here, second action, third action, we'll investigate and we'll automatically be succeed by evade this guy. We also get this clue, so I think that's our uh, plan for this turn, and we also have the shortcut just in case. So, yeah, let's see, so first action, we are using the lockpicks here to investigate. I'm investigating uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 versus 5, so we should be okay. It's a minus 1. Easily pass. Grab this clue. Check this failed card. Uh, you have uncovered one sign of the gods. I'll opt to heal. And we'll place one resource here. Shuffle one set aside copy of the Tender of Night Cup in the deck is able. Get that card back over. So we'll get another one of these. And we will move here. We will breaking and taking. So I'm paying two, and I'll add my agility value to the skill value for this investigation. So again, we are testing ten versus. Oh yeah, and I forgot uh, lone wolf resource at the start of the round. So just add it now. So ten versus one. It's a minus three. Easily succeed by two or more. So these are evaded. Grab this clue. So check this location. Uh, remember that the investigators know what happened to him. Let's go back over. And uh, so investigate, move, investigate, and I will shortcut over here. So this guy is not that close to us. We have more actions next turn. So veiled. Uh, Sarnath cannot be flipped over unless the investigators know what happened to Eep. Post after you successfully investigate Sarnath by one or less, take one more. So we just need to succeed by a lot. And that is our turn. No enemy actions. This guy ready is the upkeep. 
draw a card, we find easy mark, we gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so the agenda unfortunately advances. The Corsair's Pursuit. Uh, shuffle both of the set aside Corsairs of playing enemies in the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. Now we have a Doom threshold of 9. Add these to the encounter deck. And we get an encounter card. And it is the Tempros Night Guard Hunter. Post when Tempros Night Guard leaves. Uh, play as a result of the act setup. Set it aside, it keeps all tokens and attachments. After resolving the act setup, put it back into play at any city location. So this guy comes into play, engage with us. That is okay because I think we will do the same as last round, so we are breaking and entering. So first action we are breaking and entering. Uh, yeah, I'll get the Lone Wolf money and I'll pay one, so down to three resources. Uh, testing ten versus three. It's a minus two, so we evade this guy. I'll grab this clue and get to flip this card over because we know what happened to it. And you have uncovered the sign of the gods, place one resource on this scenario reference card and flip this card back over and uh, I'll take a resource. We are good with cards at the moment. And second action will move over here. Last action, uh, we'll try to get rid of this hunted by Forcer, so we are testing the agility. I am uh, 6 versus 4. I feel like... I'll take my chances and be 2 up. So 6 versus 4. It's a tablet. So, minus two, we succeed and we get to use Randolph. So, we draw two cards, we get Magnifying Glass and Perception. And I'll fast play the Magnifying Glass. And that is our turn. Uh, the beings of Ib will hunt, unfortunately. And will hit us for two horror, which I will put. Self and uh, virtual. Okay, well, uh, at the end of the round, we will advance. Uh, this guy readies. This readies. We draw a card. Gain one resource. Advance. So, uh, we have done the Ori up. Uh, we. I think we'll head to the Timeless Realm next and uh, do our best there so I'm just checking so we got uh, we didn't get any from there we got uh, we got one sign of the gods from here, one sign of the gods from here, one from the first, and uh, one sign of the gods from here, one sign. Okay, so we forgot to put one here, so we have already found five signs of the gods, which is really good. So, uh, yeah, I did the uh, enemy turn, so I'll keep the card, game on resource. And that is that turn, but we'll do again the mid game setup for the timeless realm between turns. So let's go to the uh, yeah, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have set up the 
next island location, so we started at Selefais and uh, we carried this tender Tenebros Night Gaunt to a city location on the new map. Then we got the Priest of Thousand Mask to the Hazul Leg, and uh, we are ready to try and find more signs of the gods. So uh, we also added the Crawling Mist into the Encounter deck along with the Encounter Discard file, and uh, that is all. Um, we already have five, so I'm hoping to get one or two more and then possibly resign. And we have nine uh, threshold on the agenda, so I think we have plenty of time to try and uncover some more signs of the gods from here. We'll add a Doom, then counter cards for this turn is... Prismatic Phenomenon. Uh, well, we can't play stuff and... Okay. So... The Priest of Thousand Masks is while the investigators have uncovered two or more signs of the ghost, gods, the uh, Priest of Thousand Masks gets plus one fight and plus one evade, four or more uh, plus two health, six or more plus one damage and gets retaliate. So we are at the mid step. So four health and plus, so it's a uh, three, four, three, three at the moment. So that okay well first action I think we want to get rid of this so I'm just uh, investigating here I'm investigating four versus two uh, five versus two because we have the magnifying glass And uh, I think we won't play Leo this game because we don't have a great job and we don't have that time. Oh yeah, and we get but we need Leo, so uh, we are six versus two. Uh, minus three. So we get rid of this. Uh, this is just because we want to play something. Second action we'll play Easy Mark. Gain two resources. We'll immediately play the second Easy Mark. Oh, yeah, we draw a card in between. We get the 25 automatic, so we get another two resources and a card. Shortcut, really good. Actually, to do this most efficiently, next we'll shortcut here. Then uh, we will uh, do the free evade here. I'll commit one of the automatics. Uh, this is one. No, I think we're fine without. We are evading uh, 6 versus 1. It's a skull, it's a minus 5. Uh, it's enough, but we don't get the free clue, uh, which is a shame, so we'll just use the lockpicks to investigate here for our last action. So I'm investigating. Uh, Ten versus three, and it's an elder sign. Oh yeah, um, I think I misplayed earlier because it's an elder sign effect. So can't remember. Maybe I misplayed it. Well, so too far gone to take any backs. So. Uh, we get uh, this clue, and uh, we'll check this. Each investigator at Serenaya heals two damage and gets two resources. We have uncovered that. 
haven't taken any damage, so we'll just get the resources. We have so much resources, so we can just go nuts with the streetwise at the to, towards the end of the scenario. We are at six, so maybe one more. And we flip this card back over. And that is our turn. Mm. This Freddy is engages us. Have to be ready again next turn with the free action. And we draw a card. Again, one resource. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards at hand, so it's okay. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, the Doom. Encounter card for this turn is. Don't be a baddie. A Whispers of Hypnos will choose to. Uh, the willpower test. So we have get minus one power. This is fine. Reaction will evade this guy. I will commit the track shoes. Anything? Oh, uh, yeah, let's commit the track shoes. Seven versus one, one is three. This guy is evaded. First real action, uh, we'll move back here. Investigate. I'll commit the perception. So we'll use the lockpicks. Uh, before that, I'll uh, play the lucky cigarette case. And. Uh, So, 11 versus, let's count, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 11 versus 2. Elder sign. Uh, we don't get any benefits, but we'll get a clue. And remember that you have besieged the king, you shuffle one set of that to uh, ten emperors, not got into the Table. I think we are out of those. Yeah. We don't have any left, so we can't. Uh, that is our investigation phase. We'll go to the enemy phase. Nothing happens. Up, keep this guy ready. And we'll draw a card. Caught of red handed. Ready each enemy at your location. For a connecting location, each hunter enemy at the connecting location is one location towards you. If no enemies move as a result of this effect, shuffle the card. Well, this guy moves, engages us, and that is it. This goes away. And we'll gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a do. So, three of nine. The card is Song of Maga Bird. Well, of course. Okay, first thing we do is to evade this guy and uh, we forgot the lucky secret case. Well, I'm committing one of these so we have better chances to succeed by two. So, seven versus one elder sign. This guy is evaded. Uh, we got the lucky secret case to draw a card. Intel report, really good. Uh, first real action. We'll just uh, actually we'll try to do the strength check here. So I'll commit. No. Oh, uh, damn, can't. 
I have a strength of four or five. I think I'm just ignoring it and moving. So, yeah, we just move for our first action. We take one and add one two. Uh, we move here and we will evade this guy. So it's three evade. We have a six. Three versus six, I think that's good enough. Elder sign. I succeed by two or more, so I'll grab a clue three. Really getting lucky with the elder signs here. So to set aside temple of untainable desires location, play with Sparta over. So we get the Temple of Untainable Desires Veiled. Way into the temple is bare shot. You cannot enter the Temple of Untainable Desires unless the investigator has besieged the king. So we have. So last action we'll just move over there. And there's one clue here. And. Uh, That is all we can do. Uh, this guy should be exhausted. Also, this guy is so exhausted. Uh, we go to the enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep. Uh, this guy's ready. Draw a card. Perception. Gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had a Doom. 5 of 9. Counterpart is uh, Wondrous Lands. There are no clues on occasion, but there is. So we attach this to the location. Attach location gets managed to shroud. After you successfully investigate the attach location, take one horror, place one room on the current agenda, and discard Wondrous Lands. This effect can cause. Okay, well, we are really losing time here, but nothing we can do. First action. Uh, we will work around this. So it says after you successfully investigate at that location. Well, we can play inter reports. We just discover a clue. Yeah, we get one resource, we pay two for the inter reports. And we'll grab this clue. We get to flip this. Put the set aside sit, uh, city which appears on no map location in play with this part back over. Put this here. Second action. We'll move over here. Okay. For each priest of thousand mask at the city which appears on no map. Reduce its route by one. Forced after you fail a skill test while investigating the city, which appears on the map. Search and counter deck and discard part of Priest of Thousand Mask and spawn it here. Okay, this is getting interesting. Uh, we need to get two clues from here. So, for last action for the round, we will investigate. I will uh, use two resources to boost my. Well, intellect by three. I'll use the lock picks, and I'll commit one perception. So I am uh, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen versus six. So I think we even don't even need the perception, but. Uh, skulls are minus six, so yeah, better not risk it. <laughs> and of course, it's a skull, so luckily we succeed, but by one. Uh, so we grab one clue, and 
go one card. Uh, I need to obfuscation. That's okay. Uh, that's all of our actions. Enemy face, this guy hunts here. Uh, we ready up. Oh yeah, we lose one lot pick. Uh, we draw a card. We get uh, what's this game? Source. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are a doom. We are at uh, six of nine, so we will have some time. Uh, we draw a card, and <laughs> it's a crawling beast. Well, well, okay. Well, I think we get well. We get one resource from the. Uh, we, yeah, we get one resource from the Lone Wolf, and uh, as a fast action, we'll play Obfuscation. We just... Uh, I think we ignore this guy, so... Uh, we'll use Obfuscation to ignore the attack of opportunity, and investigate. I'll use the lockpicks. I'll uh, use two resources and I use, use the perception. So again, the skulls are minus six, so we should be okay. It's a zero, so clear pass. Uh, we grab this clue. You can read the veiled side of this card. You have uncovered two signs of the gods. So that is really good. We heal one horror from Virgil. Discard each enemy here. Move. Okay, <laughs> this guy goes away. Uh, discard each enemy here. Move each investigator here to the temple of untenable desires. Cannot be cancelled. Flip this card back over and add it to the victory display. Okay. We head back to here. So, um, that was our first action. Second action, we'll move here and we'll use track shoes and I'll spend all resources for the track shoes. So, we are testing, before anything engages us, we are testing. Uh, Uh, four, five, six, uh, nine, twelve versus three, so this should be okay. Minus one, we get a free move before anything engages us. Move here with the track shoes. And uh, at the end of the round, we can. Uh, resign. Oh yeah, it's on this card. So if you are at the port location, resign. So last action we will resign. And that is it. We, we can't do any more uh, of those signs with only a couple of turns left. It's too risky, so better just be happy with the seven and resign. So that went really well uh, for Finn. We in uncovered seven signs of the gods and we already have one from the inter intro. So eight and that is really good. Ten is the max. I think this is one of the highest uh, runs I have ever done. Um, and uh, yeah, so. I'm really liking this deck. Let's see how much experience we got from this. So this adds to the victory display. As this and this. Okay, so we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 experience. So really good score there. So we can really get some really interesting cards now in the deck as we have uh, upgraded the uh, mandatory picks and Leos and stuff like that so 
yeah, um, we get a resolution one. Just check um, if there's anything worth mentioning. So we resigned. We go to resolution one. Uh, we uh, get the uh, ten experience, and its sign of the guards is marked as a tally mark to the evidence of Kadat. And Virgil was captured, uh, Randolph eluded capture, and that is it. So we continue from here to the dark side of the moon scenario, which is next, but that is all for this time. I hope you guys liked this playthrough. We we'll look forward to the dark side of the moon uh, episode coming up after this. Thanks for watching, and until next time.